I'd like to uh, start out just thanking our fans and our students. We had a great atmosphere tonight, and uh, I really appreciate them being the way they were uh, throughout the game. It meant a lot to our players and our staff and uh, our recruiting efforts to have a stadium like that tonight. It was awesome. Um, you know, really proud of the way we played uh, in the second half. Uh, scored the last 27 points, had a second half shutout, forced two turnovers, didn't turn the football over. Finley continues to be very, very uh, efficient throwing the football and accurate. Harmon had another 100-yard game. Uh, I like the way Reggie ran the ball there down the stretch. And, you know, just proud of the way the guys responded. You know, you got to hand it to, to Marshall, uh, especially Brady, the receiver. I thought he was an outstanding player. And uh, obviously, we didn't defend him well in the first half, but I thought our adjustments were solid uh, in the second half. And that's what uh, Marshall's always had good receivers. They've always had good skill. I think Bill Legg's a really good offensive coordinator for them. And, you know, it was a good football game and proud of the way we finished it. So um, with that, I'll open it up for questions. Yep, in the middle here. How much did that first drive of the second half mean for you and what were the keys to what you were doing well? Well, we got a key penalty that helped us uh, on third and 15, you know, with the pass interference. And then after that, you know, I, th I think Drink just kind of got in a rhythm calling plays, and he was seeing what they were doing coverage-wise, and the guys were making good catches for him on the perimeter. They were being aggressive underneath, and we were able to run by him a few times. And, you know, I thought our offensive kids just in general really uh, did a great job taking care of the ball. Uh, a week ago, that was an issue. And to not turn it over, you know, and to handle it and um, – with people all over them, you know, stripping it and punching at it and all that. I thought they did a good job running through contact. I thought Steph Lewis's run, you know, early in the game was impressive running through contact. Kelvin Harmon did the same thing. So, you know, just took care of the ball and ran hard with it. You mentioned uh, the adjustments on Brady. You went to Valdez in the second half. What did you like about what he did? And mm -hmm. then is he OK? Because it looked like his knee might have gotten banged up there on a yeah, tackle. I, I haven't heard from Justin. He did. Uh, said he hurt his knee. I don't know to what degree. No idea. He ran off the field, which I'm hopeful that's a good sign. But uh, yeah, James came in the game and did a good job. You know, And he did a good job on special teams a week ago. And um, as thin as we are in the secondary, you know, um, we had told James during the week to plan on being ready, you know, because of where we were. And I thought Austin played a really good game in week one. He struggled tonight, you know, and so James had an opportunity and I thought he did a lot of good things with it. I thought Nick McLeod played a pretty solid football game on the other side. But, uh, you know, the adjustments, just getting some safety help here and there, didn't press him quite as much, kept him in front of us. You know, one of his touchdowns was a hitch and we just didn't tackle him. So, you know, we got to tackle better on short throws. Um, but J.A. will learn from it. He'll get better. What does it mean for a guy like Reggie Gillespie to, to come into this game and, and kind of take over the running game the way he did, with especially with that 26-yard run for a touchdown at the very end there? Yeah, they did a good job on our outside run game, you know, and so we kind of made a decision to, to start running more inside zones in the second half, and Reggie's, you know, a little bit better in there on, the, on that type of play. And, that's why he's in there, you know, at 225 pounds to be able to drag people and knock people down and run through contact and did a nice job, you know, averaged 5.1 yards of carry and, you know, the big run there after the turnover to score was uh, kind of the nail in the coffin for the game. Uh, although you guys threw for um, over 300 yards this game, there were a <laughs> few times where, you know, it just seemed where the offense had uh, early season hitches. How high do you think the ceiling is for this offense going forward? What's up, Gibbs? Good to see you, man. You know, I think I told the team this in our pregame talk today. Um, I think we can be as good as we want to be. I think as long as we stay out of our own way, uh, the ceiling's very high. It's very high. We just can't be a team that beats ourselves, and, and we didn't. We were plus two tonight in turnover margin, and uh, we're a very good football team when we finish that way in turnover margin. I think we're 11 and three now since I've been here when we're plus two. And so those kind of games where we don't turn the football over and we get it back, we're going to win uh, at a high percentage. And we were able to do that. And you know they did a good job, better than we thought they would at stopping the run in the first half. They did. Coach, what does Kelvin Harmon mean to this offense? Well, he's a tough matchup. 
And uh, if people are going to continue to play man-to-man -man and pack it in, he's going to keep having 100-yard games. You know, I think that's the one thing that he's had two in a row, and I don't see that changing anytime soon if you're going to play man-to-man. -man. You know, it was, he's a really tough matchup, not just on deep balls, but, you know, catching something in front of you, and you got to tackle him at 220 pounds. I mean, he's a big kid. Carson made his field goal but missed a PAT, and then Kyle had another kind of shortish kickoff that was returned. You know, it was called back on the penalty, but it was still returned. Where do you feel like the, the kicking game is right now after two weeks? Well, I think the PAT went in, didn't it? I know it hit the upright. Did it go out? No, he missed, he missed it right. Yeah, I'm trying to find it on here. Yeah, you're right. The one field goal. Um, was excited for him, and I probably should have kicked one there when we went for it on fourth and one. You know, we talked it over and just thought we'd get it and uh, continue to run some clock down and score. But I'm not happy with our kickoff coverage at all. I'm really upset about it, and I thought it was awesome in the first half. I mean, DeQuay Nichols had a couple big tackles, and the ball placement's got to be better. It's got to be deeper, and we got to work on that. You know, PAT's got to be gimmies. Um, but we got too many good players running down the field on kickoff coverage not to tackle people inside the 20 or 25. I mean, that's got to get fixed. No, he was on it last week. And actually, you know, last week he should have leveraged the ball on the one that went for the touchdown. That was his error. And the thing I love about DeQuay, I mean, he stood up in front of the team and he owned that. Uh, just like I talked about things I own, said he'd make up for it. And man, it was an electric tackle on the first one. He blew it up. So. Really proud of, uh, of him. We're going to have to get a few guys healthy, though. We've got a few skill players out, and that's hurting us a little bit depth-wise on some of our, our units.